I lost my phone earlier. I don't know how. It's a fucking boulder. I almost just said, hey guys, welcome to Weekend Fishing. I don't even know where I am anymore. Today's question comes from my website. Anonymous asks, hi Joe, what are the bases in a relation shop? You know, sometimes I find myself wondering, Joseph, you're gay. Why are you comparing things to sports? The basis thing is something that has always haunted me since high school. Obviously, I didn't get any in high school. <laughs> So I didn't know what they were. And then of course I grew up and I didn't use bases terms anymore so I never really knew what they were. I had to look up a picture of a baseball field in order to even make this video. So I did some research and there are a ton of different opinions and different variations of this online so I have compiled a general guide of what the bases are. First base, the kissing including French kissing. Something's making a high pitched sound. I'm going crazy. Second base involves petting above the waist including touching, feeling, and fondling your... Blah, 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 blah. It's like I'm in high school again. If you want to get technical, every time you've petted your dog or your cat, you've gotten a second base with them. How's that make you feel? Third base includes petting and oral stimulation below the waist, including poking, slapping, swatting, slurping, squeezing. I came up with all those words myself. And a home run means sexual intercourse, which in this case means penetration in the V or the A. Now there are a few things about bases that I would like to say. First of all, you don't have to go in this order. This is where I think the baseball metaphor falls apart. Maybe you start off at third base and you get right into it. Then you go back to first base then you go back to the home plate and you take a little TV break and you get some dinner and then maybe you go right back to second base. I think because we hear about all of the bases growing up sometimes we kind of mentally think of them as like a checklist and as like checkpoints on the way to intercourse and that's just not really the case. Secondly you don't have to do every single base. Some people don't enjoy doing every single base every single time. To be honest I'm not the biggest fan of foreplay and some people like to do foreplay for hours and hours. If you're into that that's fine but just know that I'm probably gonna be reading a magazine or doing some work and when you're done, just let me know. And lastly, if you're going to have a discussion with your partner about sex, I would not use bases as terms. If someone were talking to me and they said they wanted to get a third base, aside from being confused, two things would probably happen. One, I would probably start laughing at them. And two, I would wonder if they're even mature enough to have sex, and then I would ask to see their ID. Gross. In conclusion, bases are fun when you're gift gabbing with your home frizzles, but I would not recommend using them in a serious sexual discussion. So what I want to know from you guys this week is how do you define the bases? Do you define them differently than I do? You can let me know in the comment section. And as usual, you can leave questions for future videos in the comment section or on my side at cupofjoshow.com. I will see you guys Wednesday. It takes both of my hands to even hold up this phone case. Totally worth it. <laughs>